Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Oh, okay. Yes. That will do nicely. Oh, my God. But I shall expect a favor in return. Of course. Wait, what? Let's go back to Eastpool. That was a fun fight. I'll tell you that much. Oh no, if they gave me a potion, a high potion. Uh oh, Talk around. what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. He's just running off. Yep, they gave me a lot of potions. Something happened. Oh my god. They torched the place. What happened here? Imperials! You'll pay for this! Oh, we've got a live one! What are you doing here? Answer me! Sick of evil! <laughs> it's over! Remember our orders? No survivors! everybody I just roasted everyone say like the soldiers oh there they are thought you could escape us <sighs> did you Brandy? you know what to do boy you were born a slave and you'll kill die. all the ducal dogs we have to get this astral astrologer. Get him, boy. Down. 
There's a ton of soldiers, man. Damn, boy. Sick of Toggle. It's over. Oh, you big You know what to do, boy. I got them all? Finally? Here comes the big one. There we go. I told you. What is this? What is this? Resident Evil? Is this Resident Evil? This is Resident Evil. That's the only one I know with the big hammer. You gotta get these guys because they'll heal. was cheat that was cheating i i hit block and it was like nope i'm gonna hit you wow yeah it was like resident evil with the big old hammer they killed everybody i'm sorry lady hannah you didn't even kill lady hannah man you deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're too late. Gav. Clive. My friend, acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, language. My mother always did despise bearers. 
The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. I... Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We nope. do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Oh, we're ready. Let's go. That's terrible, man. Oh, oh, oh. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kuka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> I figured someone was going to watch him. I, I figured. I figured. All right, we're going back. But you see everything's closed off now? See everything? That means, yeah, I have to do this. Because they'll close everything off until you actually do this. So you can't travel anywhere. All right. Writing wrongs. To Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. But first, let's see what I can do here. Well, well, so it would <laughs> be. All right. Uh, no. Craftable items. Okay, I can't craft. The, oh no, I want to reinforce. I can't reinforce anything. Wow. None of that I can reinforce. Oh, I can do this. Um, that only goes down. Which one do I have equipped? Well, I don't have anything. Everything's too low. I guess I got the highest gear right now. All right. Anything else? No, you're good. I have the highest gear, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna buy. And what do you want? Gosh, they are so nice, down. aren't they? Aren't they nice? Aren't they just like, okay, I have everything. All right, well, let me see what I have to sell. Okay, I have a golden bug, gill bug. I'm be thankful you got that much. Okay. Everything else. All? Yeah, I just want some money. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Sound happy. What do you suppose it was? Clyde, was it? <laughs> I'm going to go to this guy. Hippocrates, because yeah. everything that Lord. everything that you do, you want to go to him. So he basically tells him of his adventures. Oh, that's it. You wish to study the tomes? No. A rip. Okay, let me get out of here. How do I get... Thanks. What, now she has... No, that's the thingy. Okay. I was like... Oh, they have new things. Make sure there's no... Okay, we're good. Oh, wait. The, the quest round. To our friends!
off of there. All right, let's go to the soul. Don't mind me. Just take. I won't. I won't mind you. Okay, that's the healing thingy. Oh boy. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? Yep. I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. Yeah. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Here comes this music. I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. A one? <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <laughs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Earlier. Is that the capital? Yeah, the Holy Empire. Oriflam, Oriflam. Council of the Elders. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Oh, we have to we have to sit up here on top of our mountain afraid away from everything. There's a Sephiroth? <laughs> If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Yeah, gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, uh, yeah. well, I, 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 <laughs> so sorry, we had a treaty, but we're going to just deny the treaty. The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, 
You lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Oh, God. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. Wow. It is time we expanded our dominion. Of course. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. We need to expand our kingdom. <laughs> Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Orther. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. Oh, jeez. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Yeah. Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. Yeah. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all gone? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. Uh -oh. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? No. Never finishes a cigarette. The gods themselves. <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals, and what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise, and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Yeah. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. 
sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? What say you? Yeah. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. <laughs> but it's nice to have you aboard all the same. Into. All right. I'm going to need more than a few potions. We gotta speak with Karens. Let's go. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Who knows? Or a flam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in... On second thought, Ax. I don't want to know. All right. So right now I have a flame tongue, so I don't need any of those. Uh, those are iron belt. No. So he'll tell you which ones are new. Breath of fire, heat wave. But they're like... I love to get that because it's cool down, but it's, it's expensive. Plus, I, I, you know, what am I gonna... What am I gonna, um, what do you call it? Let's see what I got. Okay, I'm not gonna sell anything. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. Uh -uh. If you ask me, some of Fowl's brewing, and it ain't tie his barbile tea. Uh-uh. Oh. <sighs> Just go and see Otto, will ya? Okay, so All I have right. to see Otto. Otto Matic! <laughs> One second, I want to see if I can make anything. Or I see I'm busy here. Well, I'm sorry. I'm saying for you, dear. Do your freaking job. Okay, I can craft stuff. But they're not as strong as what I have. Okay, let me see if I can reinforce anything. Okay, I, I don't have that one. Yeah, they're all lower. Yeah, they're all lower. All Anything right. else? No, nothing. Sorry to be bugging you. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Clive, was it? Well, this is Otto. Take a seat, Clive. I'll fix it. So you're really going through with it? She's been oh. talking about bringing down That's the That's what the story's telling me to. I've known it. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. Well, now he's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the hide in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. Oh, wow. His legions are on the march again. This time, do you serve? Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, it's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. Right. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. Oh, gee. The checkpoint. Yeah. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. Yes. <laughs> well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dane. <laughs> and it's the Dane who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. Okay. We go way back. This is a true friend of the cause. 
I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. Uh, That's yeah. good of you, but who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. <laughs> a woman. Right. Well, that's what damn or dame means. <laughs> Don't go blinding means. her with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. In other words, no touchy. <laughs> uh, what the? Why is he staring? Okay, alien reports unlocked. Alien? Okay, alien reports. Alien reports are now available by viewing for viewing by speaking to goat at the alliant report counter in the hideaways mess these reports compiled by the curse breakers contain information on quests currently available through th uh, across valistea okay so they're just extra stuff okay i suppose right. that's everything oh Not i got a freaking out. satchel okay there's a new quest available so let's open this Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading yeah, I was why the reports that guy was sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or well, maybe I don't have to. <laughs> I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. That hurts to do that. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Okay, it's the bounty board. Okay, so there's a go. bounty board. Okay, find new quests. Use Gaunt's Alliant Report to not only find new quests around Valisthea, but also travel immediately to the Obelisk Wayport nearest their location. All right, we did all those uh, quests. I actually had three of them. So uh, now we have to talk to Gav, so let's go. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Yeah, Can't three. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Three uh, yeah. quests I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Yeah, he's just the, the three of us then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos. Yes. But that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. Yep. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Yeah, he doesn't have Sid, one. I, I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. Yeah. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. That is true. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Yeah. Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own, if need be. Yeah. Let's try not to find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're less likely to be spotted Yeah, it's called priming a, a, an icon, yeah. I'll meet you in Northreach in a few days. I'm going my own. You two behave now. <laughs> no touchy. Oh, yeah, one sec. Okay, we're going. We were at the hideaway. Ready? Okay. One thing, one second, I'm multitasking. Always multitasking. All right. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, we're going to Lost Wing. I have a feeling it's going to be somewhere around here somewhere. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Okay, let's go. They're telling us to go to Lost Wing. Then we'll probably go further and further, you know. So, right. we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? All right, it's telling me we have to go. Let me see where we're going. Where are we going? Trying to see where the marker is. Doesn't say. Probably through here. But Doesn't how did say the where, grocer where know the marker is. is. Oh, it's probably up on that bridge, maybe? Let me go this way. See if it works. Yeah. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? I wouldn't say safe, yeah. Okay, we're in Clairview. All right, this is, yeah, this is where we have to go because it's un, uncharted. Uh-oh. I'm going to try to get every enemy that's here. That's enough. We'll finish. Okay. Says that way. What's over here? Oh. I need the experience. Oh God, look at that. All right, one second. I'm just looking. All right, I don't see anything. Except for dead spiders. All right, tell us go here and there's enemies there, of course. Oh God, big dragon. Uh, I got lost here. Saying this way. Yeah, but you can't go that way, you idiots. All 
All right. Oh boy, Chocobos. Do I really want to go against Chocobo? Thank you, they ran. Chocobos are pretty. Get Let's make this quick. Get him, boy. Yeah! It's over. Over here. Get him, boy. There, boy. Over here. Get him. Sick of Toggle. You know what to do. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna try to hit as much as I can on the way. There. Northreach. I got it. All right, let's go. Oh God, there's more. Oh no, those don't bother you. All right. The soldiers we're in used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. I heard the dame has friends in the south. It was so sad. Oh, and a giant of like a plum for the apple of your eye. You there? I'm looking around because there's usually chests around. Like these open I areas. Can't decide. Usually. I don't see none. With the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Not another step, branded. Or you'll be spending the night in a cell. Well, okay, wait a minute, where am I? Yeah, it's telling me, no, I gotta go, oh, I see. I'm dumb. It's up here somewhere. Come, treat yourself. Where is, where is she? Okay, the, oh, there's obelisk. The not getting any fresher. Okay, let me go here at the merchant. Welcome, welcome. What you got, what you got? Fifty thousand. You guys are high. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come you guys back are, again. You guys are ridiculous. Oh, there she is. Those guys are ridiculous, man. Fifty thousand gil. A moment, my lady. A moment. Uh oh. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. <laughs> my <The> flowers. <laughs> Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Ooh, ooh. Do you think you could please me? Oh my Clive? god. You're the dame. Well, yeah. <laughs> Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. Clientel? You it's clientel. You can call me Isabel. Otto potato, assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? Uh, no. You can trust me, yes, but why would you? Help you? Because that's what we do. 
Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. We're looking at Chocobo, but... <laughs> to the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unmolested? Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Oh, okay. Yes. That will do nicely. Oh my god. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Of course. Wait, what? It's like, great! <laughs> I feel you, Clive. My heart belongs to another. I cannot have oh, you, come on. Do they get that color? I don't know. Are you gonna buy something or not? All right, let's go. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From yeah. the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. Yep. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Okay. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. What? <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Uh, you Get out of my sight, filth. <laughs> it's like the Jedi, right? Jedi scum. <laughs> it's another branded scum. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. Oh my goodness. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we well, we're can gonna get a more of the veil. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get a massage. <laughs> I'm sorry. Doesn't I'm sorry. Seem like I have much of a choice. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's that's wrong. Sorry. I can't help it. Oh, you know, it's what my but my brain was thinking. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Okay, so she does run a like Madame, a you know what? You look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. She runs a brothel. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. The Vale. And all you see is just rocks. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it's all dirty. <laughs> She's acting like, oh, welcome to the Vale. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm Thank sorry. you for seeing me through the gates, <laughs> my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. 
You, uh, mentioned a favor. Yeah, let's get to it. What is it you'd have me do? Let's get to I it. I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. Oh, great. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Yeah. No, I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. So we have to search oh. for somebody. And take this. Moon and stars. Okay. So I was just saying, okay, Proof I got another seal. Trust. I got and another hopefully seal. enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. All right, we now, get it. I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. All right, Iron Flagon. Okay, so it is a story quest, so I have to. I'm gonna be recording it. I should probably start here. Okay, guys, uh, I finished all the quests. You see, there's no green left. All right, so we are going to talk to this woman here. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. No, she is Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatien. She's still missing, then. Tatien. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. Mm. You saw her before she disappeared. The day before. She was in tears. Uh -oh. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatien was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Uh -oh. Tatien shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. All right. Thank you. Let's see what her chamber may can tell us then. So this is the pawn. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. Been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. Oh boy. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatien. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. Uh oh She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? It's Lads Sid. The garrison. <laughs> I'm sorry. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Wow. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. Oh, uh, yeah. She thought Stalker. about saying something. <laughs> but the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. You didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Whoa. Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. You just Relent poke out his other eye. I'm sorry. Find him, and you'll find her. Okay, so we the gotta man find from that. The garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Let's see where the barracks are. Uh, they're around. Because okay. you'll need a little something to remember me. Oh gosh, stop, stop flirting. That's the day He's probably the guy that I fought. Yeah, one of them I had to fight two soldiers. One of the side quests. Heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off. Oh, language. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. Yeah. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. Okay, More so... the last village on the right to Oriflam. I should let it. Okay, so we're gonna go there. I don't know where I'm headed. Fools there, no. 
man. It's like, go this way, go, but Final Fantasy games are like that. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Well. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. Yep. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Yep. Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. Of course. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, Bertrand. and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Okay, so I guess we're going to more. Okay, we're, uh, okay. He's telling us to go out this way, so I guess I'm going to more. A uh, bring. <laughs> Did one of them get on this side? It's like, where are you going, Brandon? Orafla. How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? That's enough for today, Branded. Wow, they're just... what the heck? A vulture? Why not? Get him! There, boy! Sick of Toggle. There, boy. Sick of Toggle. There, boy. Get him. There we go. Just want some extra experience. tell me okay there's two side quests again all right you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it rolling because it's just getting monotonous to like okay i gotta stop and then start and stop and start so i'm just gonna do these side quests i'm just gonna keep it rolling that's enough dallying you two it's just it's a pain up the lot of you there's still work to keep like stopping like i said oh there's something you over here branded here now Oh, shut up! <laughs> it's like, why don't you just, like, snap your fingers, and then poof, poof, I'll be there. I was just looking for a treasure chest. All right, I'll help you, big jerk. You, Brandy, come here. You're late. What kept you? Oh, my goodness. Late for what? Yeah. Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him! Uh, no one orders me around. I'll do that. <laughs> All right. Where is he? It wasn't that for his experience I would do it. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. Yeah, why don't you go get him? Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we have to go towards the coast. For someone way over there. Someone in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. Yeah, he didn't. Something's not right here. Exactly. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Stay back. I'll deal with this. You know what to do, Louis. Get him. You lose. You 
lose. You lose. I get four experience. Wow, that's a lot of experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No! You are supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whip for this. Pharaohs aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Huh? Why are you yeah. still speaking? Father will hear of this. Little jerk. I'd throw him in the sea. <laughs> oh, jeez. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Killed Brandon. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. Oh, yeah, you bet I will. Let's go, let's go, let's go beat up that jerk. <laughs> Come on, come on, Torgal. Fight his butt. You, Brandy, come here this instant. Oh, shut up. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return. Head held high. <laughs> was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Torgal, bite his butt. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. I don't You're care. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go, summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... Uh, I'm afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. <laughs> you think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. <laughs> Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one. Of course, my son. Anything I'll have the villagers you. fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. Get him, Tor. I'm wasting my time. Yeah. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. Well, that much I can do at least. All right, then I gotta go back to them and How give many them. Bearers a... have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport. Many. I would have Torgal fight. Yeah, I, I just happen to have a shovel. Well, I have my sword. I can use that as a shovel, I guess. We're all victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. No. Let's put them to rest. Yeah. Let's go. Jeez, this is ridiculous, man. 
It's like ribba scum. Yeah, branded scum, basically. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Yeah. Bearers are tools when they're needed. And toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. <laughs> I told you. Father! Father! <laughs> Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Yeah. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. Yeah. <laughs> for the help. Just throw them out to the sea. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Uh oh. Till then. Uh oh. Our paths may cross again. Okay. Got more ash. I've got like tons of this stuff. But there's no other blacksmith around. Which is really strange. Okay, so I have one more close to the town. Well, the wolf ate them. <laughs> They're gone. Okay, I'm gonna help this guy. Or women, woman, sorry. Um, or a little girl. Have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. And she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Please, sir. Can I have some more? <laughs> I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She's beautiful, white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. So white hair. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. Oh, don't cry, it's don't my cry. job to feed her. Don't in cry. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Don't cry. Okay. Don't cry, There's little girl. There's a lot girl. of field to search. All right. With a little so luck, probably... someone might have seen her. Whoop. Oh. I'm going to hit X. Work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Oh my gosh. Some of these people need a quick kick in the pants. I'm sorry. I, uh, that's just how I feel. Someone's different than you, and then they're just gonna be like, "Oh, you're just you're you're crap." Chloe. 
Someone dead. I hope they don't mind the interruption. They're dead. The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Oh, jeez. Chloe? That was her plaything. Well, why thing. did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. Great. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. D don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Yeah. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... Only had you do a bit of magic, and now you're a rock. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so, I can't help it. It's just, it's just nuts. Well, well done. I don't think there's any chests. Okay, nothing here. Let me look at the other mil windmill. Just for the sake of it, because, you know, usually they have chests here. Now she's a rock. Okay, no. All right. Let's go. Unbelievable. <laughs> Just a play thing. This way. All right, those are done. So now we need to still found, find Tatian. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Okay, I'm gonna check here, see what they have. What do you want? <laughs> Forty thousand. You guys are nuts. I'm not even going to be able to get any of the equestrian rules until I like, probably until I do New Game Plus, because they're just nuts. Forty thousand gil. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Mm. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. 
Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Yep. The fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. All right, so... We gotta go over here. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new morning. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Oh, 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 why, of course I have. I am the oh, I'm sorry. servant. Oh, I'm sorry oh, now. Oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. And nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value well, and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but yeah. as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. Oh. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the dame. Anything. Anything. She's got a lot of customers. Be I got sure tell you. and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful. I mean, most helpful. She got a lot of customers. <laughs> all right. Uh, we gotta go this way. Okay. More wolves. It smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. You know what to do, boy. That's enough. Good air, boy. have been busy but the blood is long dry there's a comb so it is you Tatian if that's true then the body next to hers will be Yannick's yeah the girl Yannick went off to sea every night you said her name was Tatian you did you follow me? No, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. 
couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Oh, boy. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? Yep. He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Yeah. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to tattle because you know. I need to tell this about. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. Chest around here? I didn't it's even check. Turn. Let, me try. Let me try. I want to do it. I'm just looking for chests. Dang, most of, the, most of these places don't even have chests anywhere. And I used to find them in abundance. Ah, there we are. I knew there'd be a chest somewhere. Okay, let's go speak to her. If it was a message... You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but... You need to have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her, then? Yeah, the wolves found her. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. Yeah. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Oh, sorry. I was like, no, I'm not going to give it up. It's mine. It looks pretty in my hair. <laughs> Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Finally. That was a long quest. Now they're at a church or somewhere at the east. I leveled up, finally. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Vale counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. I do mention the same thing. Oh. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess... I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. Yeah. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. 
I will. And thank you again. So they're saying that the capital won't have as many soldiers in it. Ah, uh, okay, so we got a, the chapel's way up there. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. Hold on, let me look. Try and look at a map here. There has to be a way of getting up there. Ah, there it is. The road's right there. The road's right there. <laughs> Royal Meadows. I know it's nearby. Big jerk. Like, it's locked! <laughs> Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am. The deserter come home. Yeah. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. 